Hello, hello, and welcome once again. So, this time I'm going to be messing with a heavy uh, assault lance. Um, that is a fire support. So, this is the fire support that the game gives you. Uh, this is uh, the awesome with the trades all the PPCs out for two large lasers and two LRM-15 racks. I don't, I don't agree with a, a fire support like this. There's, there's nothing that can get brawly when they get in your face. The catapults run very, very hot. They do have the four medium laser setup, so they, they're pretty all right in the uh, close range. But uh, it really seemed to me that, that, that either the awesome or these catapults, one of these, have to go out for something else. Uh, the awesome ends up coming in uh, at an extra 1.1 million. So more than anything, that's why I didn't take it. Uh, I kind of, I kind of feel like the uh, four medium lasers are actually superior to uh, the double large laser. I'm not even joking there. Uh, the catapults definitely have a lot more heat problems than the awesome, though. But this this gives me uh, like an extra 1.1 million, which lets me uh, grab up an Orion and still have good funds left uh, for you know the lower tier mechs, uh, basically your locusts and your commandos uh, and your Irby, which are all of your cheap mechs. Uh, I'm actually 0.1 away from being able to do a Panther in a fire support group like this. Which, uh, it comes with the PPC and the SRM launcher, so uh, it would be pretty decent as the Commando doesn't have anything to add to this long-range fire. Uh, perhaps the, uh, the large laser version here might be a little bit better. Uh, the truth is, though, I'd rather have the, the Brawlier uh, ability up with my uh, Centurion. Um... So yeah, uh, let's uh, try a uh, big lock. I haven't done that one in a long time. Um, no, they, they're they terrible with this fire support group. They're going to send the commando up to die. Well, we can just, we can do it. That'll work. Commencing deployment. Mech warriors, prepare for combat. Man, I really hope this game does excellent. I would love to see a triple expansion on it. The Fourth Secession War after the Memory Core. I'm not quite sure what you would do after the Memory Core, but there's always little little things going on. Uh, I'd like to see the, the tech not quite be up to the clan level, uh, but still above where we're at now. That would give you a lot of cool things, your electronic countermeasures, uh, your anti-missile systems... Yeah. So here you've got uh, basically this giant area of water here, and uh, you've got a nice brawly area up here where everybody gets a lot of defensive bonuses. Now, as I'm basically wanting to do something of a long-range fire support, what I'm going to do is send my guy out and attempt to draw them up along this wing right here. So. I'm going to run my commando just as much as I can. I'm going to do Paradise. The other thing I think that's bad about Paradise is even if they're going to keep that evasive up there, the guy needs a gunnery skill less than six. Uh, that's absolutely ridiculous that it's not only uh, such a great defensive bonus on even the assault mechs, but the uh, gunnery skill is so good on that guy. I really just think a lot of the uh, things need to be balanced. So... Here we can see, it looks like my jump jets are probably going to be a little beneficial. Not a little, they're going to be a lot beneficial. So I am going to jump. I'm hoping to just get them right in this area. I'm receiving you. Acknowledged. Now, I, I am able to engage my LRMs on my Orion here. At, while I'm closing the distance, my commando should just be taking a, a page and hiding kind of right in this area right here while everybody else gets in position. And then uh, I'll sensor lock, I'll hit them with these long range bombardments, uh, which shouldn't be too bad. I will basically just uh, flatten their commando really fast. Okay. 
Okay, now we're gonna charge the Orion forward. Now the water basically means that heat is not an issue, so... I don't think I've done any water maps. This is the only map where I've found that I really like the water, preferred to the uh, cover of terrain. Might be, just be my choice of mechs and things, but uh, I think you'll see why here shortly. Well, no you won't, because you have no baseline for the uh, catapults and how much ridiculous, the ridiculous amount of heat that they drop. Alright, so their commando is in position. We drop a sensor lock, which they can't do. See, with their group, they should have moved in with their commando and sensor locked mine. If it was a real player. Clearly we're dealing with amateurs. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Alright, and then I'm going to... Go ahead and drop in. Now this is one one of the mechs I'm talking about where I think it's actually pretty beneficial to have something like the multi-targeting, not just the gunnery skill off of uh, Kraken and Wildfire. Because it's nice to be able to use the LRMs on long range targets and the mediums on the closer range targets. Um, we'll, we'll see if they ever try to close in on me enough to really make it matter. Okay. We're going to take my other one, because I just want to... Oh, there, there's their LRM battery. Do they not... He doesn't have line of sight on my commando. Oh, okay. So we're going to move one of these onto land. This is not advisable, but it's the AI. I really have no problems here. So what I'm going to do is just show you the difference in the water here, because I am running the double catapult setup. Oh, did I have indirect fire too? Well, that wasn't good. So, knock down. Yeah, I needed to move up probably onto this hill right here, which I'll... I wanted to stay closer to the water so I could get back in it. Uh, eventually, so... The plan is you're going to keep yourself just around the edge of this, but we want good hit percentages. Which, he's not a great. Paradise only has a 6 in the gunnery skill. It's not an 8 like your uh, four, 2 precision strike pilots or your 2 multi-strike pilots, which all have 8s. But this is still really good. This is nothing like, uh, not Witness here, but the other uh, sensor pilot, who I think sucks, but uh, who comes with like a uh, gunnery skill 3. Your Angel of Death pilot uh, showboat comes with a gunnery skill 3. So those are all very, very low hit percentages. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come a little closer, which I really honestly don't even need to do. But we're going to take off the LRM. Uh, target size plus one. Yeah, I want to... I probably don't need to fire this much at a dang commando that's already down, but uh, we'll do it anyways. Alright. Okay. Come on in, baby girl. But don't land under the chair, please. I know, you're just happy to see me. Sorry, I had to let the dog in. Didn't have to, but she wants to come in. So what we're going to do is sensor lock. Because sensor lock is ridiculously good with LRM boats, as you will see momentarily. So what we're going to do is we're going to take wildfire. Marsh, 50% uh, stability reduction. Man, maybe I need to look around a little more on these maps. I didn't notice the marsh either. So, you're going to see that's still pretty decent hit chance, 65%, and the LRM boats can fire ridiculously far. 
So we're gonna go ahead and move on over here. Order acknowledged. They're never gonna be able to see these catapults back here. My Orion's gonna basically hold them up long before that. Alright, so we've unsteadied. Is he going to guard? Yeah, he's going to guard so that he removes the unsteadied. Reporting. Now, what we're going to do is just, uh... Oh, you're not the guy I want. I want Kraken. Because we're going to look at some indirect fire here. So you'll see that the uh, chance to hit chance here is just a little below, honestly. Um... 65 versus the 55, some of the real steep inclines, like if I had them sitting right about where my mouse cursor is here, I'd probably be looking at like a 35, 45. Uh, some of those real steep inclines, I've noticed real big drop-offs. Okay, and we're going to reserve back. So this will be their awesome moving up. How might I help? So again, this guy does come with the LRM-10, which I haven't used yet. Of course. Let's see if I can... Uh... So what we're going to do is just do my single indirect fire here. Um... Just to get a little damage out. It's nice that the Orion can add a little fire support while they move in, and then he's pretty tanky and pretty brawly when they get close. Uh, witness. Let's just go ahead and reserve back. Let's see if they run in or if they, uh... Come in at me with a, uh... A single mech here. Um... Honestly, I'm just going to reserve back again. Okay, so I now know that I'm not going to be able to get direct fire. That's fine, though. We'll sensor lock again. Yeah, he just moved forward and guarded again. That's fine. They're way outpacing their awesome. Hundred percent. That's nice. Gotta like seeing that. Yeah, he's taking uh, less stability damage because he's guarding, and he's taking uh, less damage overall. The LRMs do four damage a piece, while like your uh, SRMs do. So fifty-five, pretty low, because I am doing the indirect fire here. Yeah, long range 8 plus indirect fire, so... Doesn't matter, he's going to have to uh, stop to unsteady or steady himself again right here, or he's going to risk being knocked down. So let's go ahead and attack. Pretty shortly here, we're going to... reserve back. Even if he gets a shot off at me, it's not like it's going to be killer. He's going to be able to bring those four uh, medium lasers into play, though. Alright, so now it's time for my brawly mechs to get out there. So I am going to be walking into fire at this point. So the heat buildup's not too bad because I'm not using any of the medium lasers. They haven't closed anywhere close to me. Um, this is not nearly as much of a uh, example as what I was wanting to give, but whatever. Guess I should have went with a closer range map here. I know I had extreme problems with the catapults without the water before, though. Ready for orders. What do I got here? 
Target size, that's it, huh? Um... I think I'm going to aim for one of these torsos and attempt to... <laughs> Excuse me, I'm literally just getting over a cold. Try to get rid of uh, some ammo plus some of their medium lasers that they can bring to bear up close. Yes, Commander. Uh, you can actually see just fine. No, 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 no. Uh, heat is not really a concern right now. You can see the Orion will run a little hot, though. You can see how much heat I'm going to end up with. Okay, so there's the left torso, which gets that arm, too. Sorry, I was coughing up a storm there. I had to grab a drink. Okay, and here's how you like I like to use these strikers. Since I've screwed it up every other game. So we're going to run out here. That's perfect. They actually don't have direct line of sight on them. But I, I shouldn't fire a second round. Next round at the beginning before anything else goes, he should be able to dip back into cover. So what we're going to do is attack. I'm going to hopefully damage this torso severely right here. Uh, not quite as much as I would hope. Uh, but I am not leaving this commando up here to get beat on. So what I do next is I immediately sprint. And I don't have to sprint all the way uh, into some crazy area, right? I just want to be able to gain that 50% bonus. Or, say I had destroyed this mech, I could move to here and then sensor lock. So there's two good options that you can do on a striker like this, in my opinion. So I'm going to just get him right back here in the corner. I just want to pick up that 50% dodge chance. <clears throat> I don't really need to sensor lock anything else. Because they're going to stand that mech up right now. So I've not have the firepower of this catapult, but I've pretty close to uh, halved it. Um Standing by. Wow, that is a terrible hit chance. Why, why is that? Long range. Um There we go. I'm hoping to take this out before their other catapult gets to go so that it has to move into range. So it's not going to be able to fire uh, from back there now. It's got to move forward. No sensor lock here, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring him into position. No, not quite yet. We're, we're going to reserve first so that their 80-ton mech gets to go. I don't want them blowing me up for no reason. There we go. And he ran into position. So, what we are going to do now is fire. We're going to inspire uh, because I want to remove that 50% dodge chance there. Unfortunately, the Awesome's actually got a pretty decent amount of armor here. I'm going to have a fairly hard time taking it. I am going to... I'm just going to shoot the LRM anyways, because I don't think I'm going to be in any danger of shutting down this game. Yeah, that AC-10 with 75 damage, those are ridiculous. The Irbys are so good right now. Let's see, can I get into a position where I can fire those medium lasers? Yeah, I can. Can I just shoot him from right here? 
Okay, that'll work. I just want to do an alpha strike just so we can look at the uh, heat level differences. Normally you don't want your catapults up like this, but uh, look at the heat generation off of something like this. And then I'm going to move my one up in the water, and you're going to be able to uh, watch the difference there. Because I want to be able to fire both these so that I can just make an example of uh, the ridiculousness of water right now. <clears throat> oh, well, you can quite get it yet. Um, I, hear ya. I think we're going to... Since he will not be able to get, uh... We're gonna reserve back. Basically, when I reserve him back to two, their catapult's gonna get a go. Since this is knocked down, they have no line of sight up here. Uh, which means then I can safely move my commando out. And get a good shot on this awesome, probably, and then run away. On the next turn. So they knock my Orion down, but they can't do called shots, and I can stand them up right here in about half a second anyways. So, first things first, I want uh, this catapult. Okay, so really what we're just looking at is look at the heat generation here. I'm, I'm basically jumping up a little more than what the double LR inversion was up on land. Um, the heat dissipation because of the water is insane. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and... What do we got here? Okay, that's an LRM. Okay, that's a large laser. So if I can take that out, then you're in big trouble. Well, not big trouble, you're just not nearly as effective. So there's the torso, which is going to take the arm. And a ton of damage to the center. But just look at the look at the difference. I'm going to back up here. Now this one did basically have about this much from firing its two LRMs twice from the land. But look at the the difference in the heat generation on these two catapults right here. That is not insignificant on the water. That is not even remotely insignificant in my opinion. Uh, the water gives you no defensive bonuses, but basically allows you to ignore heat. Uh, very, very hot mechs like this Orion. That should tell you how hot this mech is right here, by the way. When it's generating that much heat in the water, the full time, uh, you know that you have a very, very hot mech in this game. Yes, Commander. So, what I want to do is... Eh, go ahead and stand up. Go ahead and stand up. I'm trying to decide which one. I think this guy's got the more firepower to try to take this awesome out. So I think that that's what I'm going to go with. Again, I'm just going to fire the LRMs because this will be over before it becomes a problem. Okay, now we're going to take Wildfire. Now, I'd like to bump these uh, 65s on these lasers up, so we are just going to go ahead and inspire. Show them what you got. See, now I think the Orion's an excellent mech with that long-range uh, missile uh, single rack that it has. But it's, it's brawly and tanky enough to really get out there. So this is shutting down already, which is fine because uh, this catapult's about to be in a world of hurt. But uh, what did I damage most? The right side. So I want to come over here. On my way. <clears throat> gonna alpha strike. I'm hopefully gonna knock him down. Okay, so I did get one of the missile launchers, but I didn't get the. Uh, the other side here. Now, if I'm really worried about my striker, I literally take him, and again, we sprint back over here. Since this is pretty much over, if this were campaign, I would definitely sprint him over here, because this guy will get to go next, and I would be extremely worried about him damaging this uh, very cool commando, because I love this commando a lot. I guess people should know that, since I'm pretty much throwing in every group I have. 
Uh, I would definitely like sprint this away to like way the hell out of that thing's line of sight, um, and just let my big mechs handle it because I don't think they'll take enough damage. As this is not campaign, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get over here and behind him. Not that I can get a back shot on it since he's laying down, but if I turn him, uh, that won't be bad at all. Oh no, I was still on sprint. That was a bad, that was a bad mistake on my part. <laughs> I meant to move and attack with him. So my Orion's still, still fine. Um. Standing by. So I did shut down with my other one. Is that going to get me any better shot with my lasers? No. So let's just uh, stay back here. And I should have knocked him down because I had my commando to work with as well, but I really managed to screw that up. I'm actually going to take a peek at my uh, catapult here, because I never did realize the uh, structural dam damage. Uh, it doesn't look like it damages the head, and there's... Look, look at how long, because uh, I pushed this into the red one time, like three damage... Three damage on every component area on the structure. Yeah. So uh, my weakest spot, my catapult arms, the uh, giant rocket launchers we see here. By the way, uh, I'm really glad they bought the uh, models from Mech Warrior. Unfortunately, that leaves a few of the mechs that I'd love to see in the game kind of not going to be in it. Uh, Hatchet Man. <clears throat> Uh, I do think it's fantastic, but uh, these are going to be your weakest points, and I can run this guy in the red line. Let's see, 3 into 48 is 12. On the 13th round, I red line this guy. That means uh, pushing his heat uh, above that line right there, or shutting down, either one, uh, will be the time it will actually deal damage. Maybe that becomes more of a thing with, uh, with real players who can kind of take advantage of it, but... Because uh, you won't have as much as much uh, you won't have as much structure left once your armor falls off. So it'll be easier for them to take your components off. But as it stands right now, the uh, damage, in my opinion, just a bit low there. Yeah, you should have actually been taking the torso out, but I screwed it up with my commando there. And he'll be able to stand up before anything else gets to go except for this unit, so what we're going to do is just move forward and take a center torso. Yeah, take a center torso shot. I should probably check and I probably should have taken out the leg to see if that gave me any sort of bonus to my fire. Uh, with my next mech right there. That probably would have been an excellent place to take a look at it. So, uh, I don't know. I think I think some of the, not just for the uh, AI overall, I think some of these lances are severely flawed. Uh, I would never want to take in a double catapult and an awesome that's basically built like a, a more long-range catapult because it's got the double large lasers instead of the uh, four medium lasers here. I would never want to take this kind of setup with literally just commando up front. Um, I would be afraid that my commando would be slagged in about three seconds. And then uh, I'm going to have to use these for a brawler type. So I don't think some of their, their builds are very good. I might build up a uh, cavalry lance next, because uh, I wasn't a big fan of the Angel of Death. That might just be because I think that theirs that they built were terrible as well. Um, again, polished though. This is, this is not, this is not me trying to say this is a bad game, you know, don't, don't play it, because I'm actually thoroughly enjoying this game. I find it a lot of fun. Um, but, uh, polishing up the lances a little bit, <laughs> I think would go a long way to helping, especially those that are not really familiar with the, the game setting at all. Um, 
I had a pretty good idea that I did not want basically three catapults in a a fire support group uh, with a commando to kind of be out there and hold things at bay. It took me about half a second to realize this was not a setup that I wanted to run, that I needed to drop a catapult or the awesome here and pick up uh, some kind of a good medium range brawler, hopefully something that had uh, the L arms, which the Orion did. Uh, so far, I have thought the Orion has been pretty fantastic. I don't think the AI is very good with using it, but that's a, that's a bit of a separate issue. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody, and until next time.